Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Lamora, and once again, welcome back to yet another episode of Final Fantasy XIV. We are here in patch 2.3... We're actually in patch 2.4. I'm sorry, we just finished up patch 2.3 yesterday, and now we're moving on to Dreams of Ice. One of my favorite patches and expansions in this game. That's just me personally, just because we get to fight Shiva in this one. Sorry, spoilers, I know. But let's get started by talking to Minfilia. Traitor in the Mist. Minfilia would have you assess, uh, assist Alfino in his new station as commander of the Crystal Braves. Alright, let's see. Anything? None of these are good for me, so we'll be taking some silver pieces. Huh. Try as I might, I cannot shake the creeping sense of dark foreboding, but it avails us not to fret about the unknown. We must concentrate instead of the uh, instead on the problems of the present. The primals have been recently quiet of late, and the beast tribes who summon them are under constant surveillance by the grand companies. Should any suspicious activity be afoot, you may be certain that we will hear of it. And until such time as a permanent solution to the primal problem has been found, we can do little but wait and observe. As for the Asians, Urian Jay is wholly dedicated to finding the means by which we may defeat the dark beings. Let us pray for good tidings on that front. But all of this you already know. Let us speak of the of then more let us speak then of more current matters, in particular the state of the Crystal Braves. Alfino did well in well to found the organization, but ensuring its smooth operation is another matter entirely. Though I doubt not that he is doing his best, I felt that a helping hand or two would not go astray. To this end, I offered to send one of our uh, one of the archons to assist him, but he had declined. You know how he can be, independent to a fault, and singularly loath to accept help. Yeah. Save, of course, when that help comes from you. Alfino has entrusted countless matters of import to your care in the past, and I believe he would not hesitate to do so again, were you to offer. I should be most grateful if you would go to him and support him in whatever manner you are able. Mm. You ever just want to lay your head on someone's tummy before? It looks so comfortable. <laughs> okay, in any case, if this happens to be your first episode of mine, welcome. Uh, I'm a little weird sometimes, but it's okay. Alright, let's go find Alfino and see if what kind of trouble he's getting himself into. Oh, Alfino, where are you? I hear that you are in need of me. Yo, Thancred, doing some knife tricks over there. Oh, shadow knife. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's sick. I love it. What is it, Nia? And do be concise. I'm rather busy. Rude. Hmm. You would lend a hand, you say? I see. Well, now that you mention it, there is a matter that wants for attention. Given its sensitive nature, I was hesitant to entrust it to my braves, but the demand upon my time are such that I had little choice. Which is not to say that my men want for labor. Though we are but newly formed, there is already a great demand for our services, and we are hard-pressed to answer all petitions. But I digress. The fact is, I would sooner attend to this particular matter myself, but my presence is required elsewhere. That being the case, I have entrusted this resolution to my second in command, Captain, Captain Ilbred. Tell him that I sent you, and he will furnish you with the particulars. My thanks in advance, Nia. Alright, second in command. Oh, thank god, he's like right around the corner. I always hate when people are too far away. Hail to you, Sion. How might we serve you? Commander Levayeur bade you serve us? These are welcome tidings indeed. Given the sensitive nature of the task, I could not rely on one of my own. That which I'm about to tell you, I tell you in the strictest confidence. Some days ago, we received certain documents from an anonymous source. 
They notified us of the presence of a Garlean agent within the ranks of one of the Grand Companies. Following some discreet inquiries, we identified a suspect among the Immortal Flames, whom we detained for questioning. Alas, the man was not our agent. He was but one of many men in the agent's employ. We pressed the traitor for a name, but he had none to give. He claims never to have met his master, whom he knows only as the Ivy. He was, however, certain that this Ivy had coiled itself around every part of the Immortal Flames. It would seem our quarry joined the company some time ago, and gradually recruited others to his cause. These conspirators are the vines by which he learns our secrets, all without exposing himself. It won't be easy to identify the ivy amidst this tangled mass of subterfuge, but we have a tendril in our hands, and we shall follow it all the way to the gnarled root. Now, much as I would prefer to proceed with due discretion, circumstances demand that this matter be settled post haste. Garlemald's war of succession nears its end, and it is feared that the Empire will soon resume its march on Eorzea. When it does, we can ill afford to have traitors in our midst. The ivy must be rooted out now. We must begin by apprising General Roban of our findings. I would ask that you accompany me to the Hall of Flames, and remain on hand to see that things go smoothly. Assuming the Ivy's tendrils are as widespread as we believe, he will be aware that an investigation is underway. And if that is the case, he may well move against us. We must be prepared for anything while taking care not to betray our purposes by seeming prepared. A simple enough task for a one-woman army like you. I could not rightfully imagine General Rabon being hesitant to, to my inquiries. Being against me, he trusts me with almost all of his might. And he has a lot of might. Alright, he should just be right around the corner at the Grand Company here. Thankfully, it's very close to the Aetherites, which is so nice. I wish the inn and everything was as close as it is in Gridania. But what can you do, right? What can you do? Well, well. What brings you here, my friend? She is here at my behest. Greetings, Roban. It has been a while. Hilbert, you old scoundrel. When they told me you'd be visiting, I scarce believed my ears. But look at you! The honored captain of the Crystal Bloody Braves. Who'd have imagined, eh? Not many, but fewer still would have imagined your destiny lay in politics, old friend. Aye. We've both come far, have we not? Lest you wonder, Hilbert and I go back a long way. We've been friends and rivals since we were lads. The last time we saw each other, Alamigo had just fallen, so you can guess how many summers it's been. And in all that time, not a word from the fool! Ah, well, my dealings tended toward the modest and mundane, unlike some I could mention. As I hear it, no sooner did you reach Thanalan than the brass blades clapped you in irons and dragged you off to die on the blood sands. Being a stubborn sort, you won a thousand matches and earned yourself a place in the people's hearts while you were about it. Then, with your mountain of prize money, you bought the Colosseum and secured a seat on the Syndicate. Those balls, brother! Rags to riches does not do it justice. You're a hero to the common man! Pah! Spare me. 
I am no hero. If anyone is worthy of that title, it's our friend here. Next to her, I'm little more than a glorified butcher. But you, Wilbert, you sell yourself short. By all accounts, you are an adventurer of some standing. I like to think that I did my part for the greater good. But if you're no hero, then I'm no adventurer, not in this company. Anyway. I have tidings. So there has been progress. I've let it be known that this meeting is a reunion between old friends. None will give your visit a second thought. To convene elsewhere would only attract attention. Let us speak here, in plain view of all. So it is we who have been compromised. Teleji Adeleji's machinations have shaken Uldar to her foundations. In such uncertain times, a man's loyalty may be bought for a fistful of gill. But if this snake has truly been in our midst for as long as you say, we must needs consider a far graver possibility. Conspiracy. Could it be that the Monetarists have been in league with the Empire from the first? Very well. I will have my most trusted men investigate the matter. Continue your inquiries in the meantime. It does me well to see you again, old friend. When next we meet, let it be over a flagon of ale. I look forward to it. Let us reminisce of bygone days and drink to the future of our homeland. Flame General, you wear the mantle well, old friend. I must work hard if I'm to keep up. Well, it would seem your services were not required after all. I dare say we have Roban's prudence to thank for that. Still, I was glad of your presence. My thanks, Sion. So Roban has been apprised of the situation. And he seems to have taken it well. Kind of figured things would go a little sour there, like he wouldn't believe. But, wait. Oh. There he is. I was like, wait, what? what's going on? Okay, anyways, back and forth. Daystar gloves. Oh, it's these gloves? Hell yeah, dude, I'm taking them. Look how sick they are. And they're from mages, so they're not just like straight cloth. They actually have armor on them. It's so cool. Truly is. I'm just curious what the other ones look like. That's kind of cool. Those look like garbage. Um, this actually, for the Thaumaturge, I think it's the only. Black Mage Summoner... Oh, really? Summoner, Red Mage, and Blue Mage. So you can get this one. The whole set looks like a uh, jester. You get like some poofy pants and like a jacket and like a top hat looking thing. Um, it's kind of cool. I think we actually saw one not re not long ago. Or maybe it was something else. In any case, we will be uh, accepting this quest back and forth. Ilbrid is eager to continue his investigation into the Garland Spy known as the Ivy. Our hunt for the Ivy begins in earnest, Sion. Suffice it to say, we must tread warily, but one misstep may uh, well cost us our lives. Our business here is concluded for the time being. Let us return to the Rising Stones and report to Commander Lalavere. I, I always forget how to pronounce it. It's some kind of French pronunciation. Anyways, I did forget uh, to eat my eggs. I think I'm going to stop eating the eggs for the patches because I just don't really get that much XP and it's just like, why? I'm already over leveled anyways by eight levels and I'll just continue to get even higher. In any case, we will still continue with our minion roulette, though. Let's see, who did we get? Oh, little Kamainu, or however you pronounce it. All right, back to Mordona. All right, well, I hope that Alfino is happy with the things that we've done. Hopefully, we've helped him out just a little bit in his duties. 
The dude is way too stressed, that's for sure. We are returned from Ulda, Commander. And not a moment too soon, something has happened. Trouble? You will recall that the 4th was tasked with reconnoitering the rendezvous site used by the Ivy's minions and his Imperial contacts. Soon after you left, we received word that the unit was ambushed en route to its destination. God damn it! According to the report, one of ours has been taken captive. The Garleans are not wont to, uh, to treat their foremen with dignity, and I have grave fears for her safety. We must dispatch the rescue party at once. Recall those braves who are afield. Begging your pardons, Commander, but we have not the time. I'm afraid I must ask for your aid once more, Scion. An ill-prepared rescue party will only serve to provide the Garleans with more captives, yet time is of the essence. Simply put, you are the best chance we have. Captain Ilbert is right, has the right of it. I trust you are willing. But of course you are. Now, Alien, Alien, Alien of the f uh, of the Fourth lies in wait in the tangle near the entrance of Castrum Sentry. Seek her out, and she will apprise you of the situation. Elaine, I I'm not quite sure how you say it. All right. Well, of course things aren't always as easy as they seem. One plot always tangles into multiple. Once one thread gets loose, the whole thing comes undone. Or seemingly so, but I'm always here to weave it back together. But the good news for everyone in this damn nation is I'm here to weave it all back together. Oh, there's a fate going on? I haven't done my weekly fates. It looks like there's only one person doing this. I don't really want to do it myself. I know this one. It's not anything really crazy impressive or difficult or fun, really. You follow this researcher, he does some readings or something at like different locations like right over here and further up. I think he does like three or four of them and these enemies spawn behind him and you need to go. I don't, I don't even know if I'm going the right way. It's by Cashroom Sentry. God dang it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you pretty much just go and escort him while he's doing different things. More people are joining in. I guess it's pretty late at night, so more people are logged on. Again, I'm just not really interested, even though it would help my my challenge log if I was to do some fates, because I haven't done them for this week. I haven't done a lot of things for this week, but it's okay. Uh, in this character, I don't really focus too much on the challenge log. I, I do that really with my main character. She's at level like 68 right now, so, you know, quite a bit higher <laughs> than anything that we have. But it's okay. I don't really mind. By the time we get to Heaven Sword, she'll probably be like max level. <laughs> Again, it's it's okay. I, I don't really care in the end of it. I have fun playing the game, and that's just kind of how I do things. You would aid us in the rescue mission. We are in your debt, Warrior of Light. Now, time is against us, so will allow me to brief you in the situation. The Garleans fell upon us without warning, wounding poor Rush, Radish, and hauling her away to the castrum yonder. Outnumbered as we are, it was all we could do to flee and regroup. Even as we speak, the Garleans may be interrogating Rush or worse. With her hurts, I fear that she will not long survive their uh, attentions. We must rescue her without delay. Our order may yet be in its infancy, but the bond, it, the bond that binds us is strong as Mithril. None of us will stand by while a comrade suffers. We, the remnants of the Fourth, will infiltrate Castum's sentry. Please help us find Resh before it's too late. Can and will do. Don't worry, Fourth. I shall save your comrade. All right, let's mount up, though. Oh, did someone die fighting that guy? I don't think someone was quite prepared. It's all right. Oh, dude, I'm like two achievement certificates away from getting that mount. Ever since getting the minion, I've been wanting that mount just because I like the way that it moves. I think it's one of the, not like obviously not the best, but one of the best animated mounts in the game. And I, I just want it. 
All right, so we should just have to go. Uh, is someone already doing? Nah, that's something else completely. Just a dragoon being dragoon, <laughs> doing their dragoon things. All right, where am I supposed to go though? That's the question. Uh, not here, not there. Somewhere here in the back, maybe. Yep, there it is. All right, let's just make sure Selene is out. Sense a hostile presence. All right, no one is close up to each other, so that's a good. We'll just uh, focus on these guys until maybe. Do these guys want to group up or something? If they group up, I can use Art of War, which would be really nice. You can kind of kill them all at once. Just dodge their AoEs, even though it's not really necessary. Selene would do more than enough healing for me. Resh, thank the gods we found you. And thank you, warrior of light. Now, to quit this accursed place, Resh cannot move with the uh, with those wounds. She will need to be carried out. I believe a diversion is in order. Might we trouble you to provide one? Given your reputation, I suspect the guardians uh, guardians will be only too happy to grant you their undivided attention. If you were to create a commotion within the Kashum. We should be able to seal, uh, steal away unnoticed. Let us speak again once you are once we are safely outside these walls. Sorry, I completely flubbed up that sentence, huh? Tis all right. We just had to create a distraction, which is something I can totally do. Time to cause chaos. Now the question is just where are? There it is. There's one. And then the other ones are further in as we go through. Thankfully, no one's going to bother us as far as the normal enemies go. So let's see. Oh, okay, there's a bunch of them. Cool. That works. Let's just get Art of Wars out. Just spam that until they all go down. I don't even really care about this attack. I'll just take it. I'll just eat it to my face. And these guys will go down in no short order. Alright, there's one. I have to assume. Yeah, okay. No one else spawned. Sometimes multiple waves spawn. And you just have to be careful. But such is not the case for this one. Uh, there's the second one. Ah, these guys are spread out, unfortunately. Alright, let's just get the bio out. Hopefully draw them in a little. Hey, can I click on you, please? Thank you. Uh, I'm not going to eat both of those. Uh, I guess I'll eat one of them. It's alright. Thankfully, this guy's just a little bit short. Uh, but we did get this... Oh, there was a third guy. I didn't even quite realize, to be honest with you. I didn't even realize he was actually part of the whole thing. Cool. Alright, that's the second little diversion created. And now for the third. I know I could mount up and we could just do that, but... We'll just be getting off constantly. There's really no point. Are people here waiting for a fate? There's a extra strong... No, these guys were just grouped up for some reason. Unless it had just happened and I missed it. Alright, I don't want this uh, this guy to get in my way, so I'll focus on the single target ones. Even though I can quickly defeat him, it would have just been a little bit longer than these guys, so I'll just take care of him like that. Okay, cool. Uh, there's a large one of these Vanguard guys that's... Ooh, okay, I was right. There's Sometimes there's a second wave. Anyways, sometimes there's a large one of these Vanguards that uh, shows up and people do it. It's like an A rank hunt or something. I, I was going on S rank or whatever. I think I've only participated in it, in it once before. I never know when all the hunts are happening. Um, someone in my free company, or yeah, my free company sometimes marks them out. So it's like, hey, this place and this place, there's a hunt going on. But I don't know if it's because they're there and they're only marking the ones that appear there, or if they have like a third party website or something that tells them. I've never really thought to ask. Alright, cool. That should be about it, right? Yep. Cool. Alright, so I just need to... at the tangle. Just need to go outside. Cool. Just want to be sure I didn't have to teleport back to Mordona. Or if the quest was returned back in Mordona, I would have just teleported there, because why not? Alright, my friends, where'd you go? There he is. 
We have awaited your return most anxiously, my friend. You have done us a great service indeed. Thanks to your aid, our comrade Resh was sa uh, is safe, and we suffered no further casualties. Words cannot express my gratitude. All that is left is to report the mission's success to Commander Lavalier, or however you pronounce it, Alfino. Is I'm just gonna say Alfino. I shall go ahead uh, to the Rising Stones. All right, so now I can actually teleport. I don't feel like walking. I know it's technically a waste of money or gill. I just don't really care. Uh, for some reason, I got the alert that the fate was complete as soon as I teleported in here. That really makes no sense because I didn't participate in any fates. Alright, Alfie, no. We have done and saved your people. Give me praise, please. Ah, it does me well to see you thus returned. Though I doubt not your prowess... Uh, yeah, anyways, doubt not your prowess. Entering an enemy stronghold is generally considered to be a risky venture, and I must confess to having been a trifle anxious. Dude, I've done it hundreds of times before. And here you are, hail and whole, having succeeded in your mission, as is your wont. As is your wont? What? Lest you wonder, the woman you rescued is being cared for by the domains. Thanks to the uh, to their expert ministrations, the danger is past. You have my gratitude, nation Nia. Yeah, god damn it. Sorry. <laughs> you have my gratitude, Nia. Allow me to thank you also, Sion. Resh owes you her life. We escaped with minimal casualties this time, but we can ill afford to be caught off guard again. The Empire is not an opponent to be trifled with. As you say, Commander. I will see to it that the men keep their wits about them. And it may yet take time, but I will not rest until we have identified the uh, and apprehended the ivy. I have every confidence that you will succeed, Captain. As for you, Nia, I realize that you have scarce caught your breath, but I am afraid there is no rest for the weary. I require that you accompany me to Corthius. I have been granted the audience of the Ishgardian dignitary, you see, and the man expressly requested your presence. Oh, do not look so surprised. You should be familiar with the trappings of uh, fame by now. We shall depart as soon as you're ready. No rest for the weary, but I'll take them in gloves, though. Some glamour for the weary is probably the best. Coming to terms. An influential Ishgardian wishes to meet the Warrior of Light, and Alfino would make uh, would like nothing more than to oblige them. Uh, so none of these are going to be good, so we'll take them silver pieces after. We have been blessed with the rare opportunity, Nia, an audience with the Ambassador of the Holy See of Ishgard. We are to treat this Sir... Uh, we are to treat with Sir Emmerich, Emmerich, Lord Commander of the Temple Knights and Camp Dragonhead. It is considered a great honor to serve the Holy See directly as a temple knight. Needless to say, the leader wields tremendous political influence. We would be wise to court his favor. For that reason, I consider your attendance essential. If Sir Emmerich wishes to meet the woman uh, behind the legend, I would, not I would not deny him the pleasure of your company. The antecedent should see the wisdom of this plan when you request her permission to accompany me to Corthius. Mayhaps you feel this will be a waste of your talents, which could doubtless be put to uh, be put to nobler use. If so, I should remind you that more good can be accomplished with a stroke of a pen than the thrust of a sword. I don't know, I could just threaten people until they like me, or just accept me. <laughs> Who knows? It could work. Maybe. It's okay. I trust Alfie now. He's always got our better interest at heart. What say you, Menphilia? A meeting with the Ishgardi ambassador? By all means, I think it a wonderful idea. We have received no reports of etheric disturbances or unusual beast tribe activity of late. If Alfino believes your presence may help him secure more favorable terms, I see no reason to deny him. Antecedent. I take it Nia has explained the situation. She has, yet welcome though the overtures are, I cannot help but wonder what prompted them. The Ishgardians have spurned all contact with other city-states for decades. Why reach out now? It's because of that tummy. 
Would that they would that I knew. The question of their motives is one of which I have given no small amount of thought. Alas, I know no more than is generally known. The notorious reclusive nation of Ishgard, situated at the center of Apalathia's spine, ruled by the Ishgardian Orthodox Church, at the head of which presides the Archbishop. Members of the original Eorzean Alliance formed in the wake of Alamigov's fall some two decades ago. Friends of convenience, who withdrew from the Alliance as soon as the Imperial fleets was routed at the Battle of Silver Tear Skies. Since which time, their borders have remained closed to all outsiders. They have rejected every one of their former allies' calls to reopen dialogue, turning a deaf ear to their neighbors, please when the calamity loomed large. And on the fields of Cartanau, where brave men and women laid down their lives in defense of the realm, their banners were conspicuously absent. I have tried to convince Ishgar to rejoin the Alliance at every opportunity. I have explained over and over again that unless Eorzea stands united, we cannot hope to preserve our freedom. By One by one, our nations will fall, as once uh, fell Alamigo. And what have mine efforts yielded? Why not? Surely this can be considered a step in the right direction. I should hope so. Rather than the lowly messengers we have been fobbed off with the past, this time we shall meet with a man of genuine influence. Of course, I am not so naive as to think that they come, uh, come to us out of the goodness of their hearts. We have something they desire, though I have yet to find out what. But such is the nature of diplomacy. They will, uh, they will bring their agendas to the negotiation table, and so will I, along with a handful of inconvertible truths. The Empire will soon be at our doorstep once more. Indeed, you may be assured that I will expand upon this point and others. Let us depart for Camp Dragonhead, Nia. Our old friend, Lord Hotchafont, is expecting us. Since our quest to recover the Enterprise, I understand you have further inaugurated yourself with the man. Excellent work. His fondness may prove useful to our cause. It is safe to say, Alphino, you would get nowhere without my help. So you are welcome. Alright, let's teleport to Camp Dragonhead. And where do I need to go to meet these people? Somewhere over here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Hasher front. Whoa! My little emo darling there. Short haircut, black hair with red tips. Oh god, scene girls, get back in my life. Ah, Nia, ever a welcome sight. Our hearse have been stoked to blazing in preparation for your arrival. It would not do for such a uh, distinguished personage to catch a cold while enjoying our hospitality. The gesture is much appreciated. I fear I shall ever struggle in coin. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, in cold climates. Ah, good Master Alfino, an honor as always. Likewise, Lord Hashafant. Forgive us yet another impos uh, imposition. Yeah, forgive us yet another imposition. I fear we have relied overmuch on your aid since you so generously assisted us in locating the Enterprise. Nonsense. Any debts incurred have long since been repaid. Besides, who can say what the future may bring? House Fortemps may even seek the aid of the newly formed Crystal Braves. In any case, I am simply delighted that the Holy See is at last willing to grant you an audience. No doubt your discoveries at Snowclop helped to justify the decision. This recent resurgence in heretical, 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 <laughs> heretical, I think it's heretical, uh, activity is of grave concern to us all. But to the matter at hand, Sir Emmerich arrived at Camp Dragonhead earlier, and I am told he is eager to meet with you at your first convenience. You are doubtless weary from your journey and desirous to rest a while by the warmth of our hearth, desirous. 
Sure. But if you are willing to forgo such comforts, pray inform the night station outside the inter intercessory intercessory he will grant you entrance and send word to the other attendees as inviting as your hearth sounds i think it would be best we proceed to the intercessory forthwith cool all right let's just get this meeting over with so that we can get the political drama out of the way uh i think if i'm not mistaken it's right down over here a place i didn't even know we could go to originally so that's cool we have, been, we have been expecting you, madam. Pray take your ease inside, and I shall summon the others. Enter. Yes. Have faith, my friend. You need only state your case with confidence and clarity. Commander Leveillard, it is both an honor and a pleasure to meet you. I am Emmerich, Lord Commander of the Temple Knights. Alfino Leveillard, at your service. Your reputation precedes you, Sir Emmerich. I think we will find that we have much in common. Speaking of reputations, yours towers over us all. Does it not? It does indeed, Lord Commander. I am not too proud to admit that I have followed your activities with an interest bordering on fascination. Full glad was I to learn that you would be joining us. Now then, shall we begin? We know full well that the Garleans will return in force ere long. What is more, we have yet to achieve a lasting victory over the Primal Menace. The Beast Tribes continue to summon their gods, and each incarnation is stronger than the last. Ishgard is not immune to these threats. I must reiterate that it would behoove your nation to rejoin the Aorzean Alliance. Once again, I must respectfully disagree. On what grounds? Despite their presence in Kurthus, the Ixal do not concern us. The territorial claims pertain to Gridanian lands, and it is the people of Gridania whom they harry. Consequently, the Holy See judges this to be a Gridanian affair, and Ishgard does not intervene in the internal affairs of other nations. Even were that not the case, our forces are wholly committed to the Dravanian conflict. We have not the knights to spare. As for the Garleans, we are not ignorant of history. We have observed the rise and expansion of the Empire, and we agree that it is only a matter of time before they resume their campaign in Eorzea. Then surely it would be in our best interests to present a united front. Mayhap one day, but not yet. Gaius van Belsar is dead, and the legion of conscripts he left behind lacks the will to fight. We think it highly unlikely that they will emerge from behind the walls of their castra for some time. Forgive me, but if Ishgard's position has not changed, why did you agree to this meeting? It was not only as a representative of Ishgard that I came here. Pardon? It is not within my power to change Ishgardian policy, regardless of my personal feelings. There is, however, one area in which I may exert a measure of influence. Concerns have been raised over the supplies House Forton has offered to Revenant's Toll. These have led to calls for restrictions on the provision of aid to foreign powers. 
I can ensure that the shipments continue unabated. Sir Emmerich, we would be in your debt. No, you would not. For I require something in exchange. Of late, there has been a flurry of Dravanian activity, the purpose of which was not immediately clear. However, our astrologians have since observed alarming changes in the heavens. The dragon star waxes unnaturally bright, and there are whispers that it portends the resurrection of Midgard Sorma. The fallen guardian of Silvertear Falls? That's absurd. Full many times have I gazed upon the dragon's corpse still wound around the Agrius, and wondered how different our world might be if it yet lived to plague the skies. I do not know, and I do not wish to know, nor does any son of Ishgard. Yet the mere presence of Dravanian forces is not sufficient grounds to send knights to Mordona, whatever our astrologians say. As I told you before, we have not the forces to spare. But we do. So you will intervene on our behalf if we agree to watch over the Keeper of the Lake. Do you accept these terms? I do. I will see that you are kept abreast of any developments. I regret that we could not come to a similar agreement on other matters, but I understand that you are not at liberty to make such decisions. Nevertheless, I hope that what we have accomplished here today will serve to demonstrate to your countrymen that we can work together towards a common goal. Mayhap one day we shall look back on this moment as the first step towards a united Eorzea. Mayhap we shall, Commander. What is the meaning of this? The caravan, my lord. It's been attacked. It was Iceheart, my lord. What? By the fury! All our precautions were for naught? God damn, there was a lot to unpack right there, but Jesus Christ, things are starting to pick up again. Alright, Alfino, know, unfortunately, I have to bid you a farewell. I am so sorry I cannot continue your quest, but at least it's motivation for you all to come back tomorrow and see how this all turns out. Thank you so much for joining me on today's episode. I really do hope you've been enjoying it so far and are looking forward to tomorrow's episode like I did say. In any case, I'll see y'all later. Peace out, and much love to you.